practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little prey. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Hit the sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Mafia. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Hit the sub button. Get me the 5K before the start of the football season. And I got something for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got a surprise for y'all. 4K before 4K in the port. It's about 5K. All right. So let's go hit that sub button. And let's get this popping the way it needs to be popped off. With that being said, let's get down to the business stuff. Giants voluntary OTAs. <laughs> I repeat, voluntary OTAs report. Because I think people need to understand that it's voluntary. <laughs> Did I say the word voluntary? Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure I said the word voluntary. Because according to Pat Leonard, you know what I'm saying? Uh, beat writer for the Giants we are without a lot of good players at these OTAs of course Kadarius Tony, who I'm going to get to in a minute Kenny Galladay isn't there Dory Jackson isn't there Leonard Williams isn't there whole secondary isn't there so and, Ru and Kyle Rudolph is there rehabbing alright so what it's voluntary those, it doesn't mean much all right now i would like for tony to be there but if i'm Kadarius tony it also would be nice if the giants paid me <laughs> you know what i'm saying it'd be nice if the giants go ahead and cut me the check because as of a few hours ago we signed aaron robertson so now the only f draft pick that we haven't signed is Kadarius Tony. So, in order for him to show up, you know what I'm saying, we got to pay him. I mean, you can't be mad at Kadarius Tony for not showing up when he doesn't have a contract. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, the what what is it, the starting right tackle or the starting left tackle in Denver? He tore his Achilles working out at the crib and. They, they 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 took his money so the nfl is ruthless all right so it's one of those situations where if, if you're if you're Kadarius tony and you get hit before they pay you granted we're the giants so we'll probably do the right thing regardless but if i'm his agent i'm telling him to chill the hell out just chill we're gonna get you the bag you're the number one pick you're gonna get signed we'll be there for mandatory minicamp that's all that matters. Mandatory training camp next month. That's all that matters. When when the mandatory training camp comes and it's time to get down to brass tacks and we a month away from the season, we two, three weeks away from preseason games, that's what matters. You feel me? But um I already spoke on the Saquon Barkley in a separate video. Saquon Barkley, if he can play week one, will not be ready to handle uh, full workload which explains why we got Armstead Corey Clement we drafted a guy in the fifth round that's why we drafted so many running backs not drafted but signed so many running backs this offseason we're concerned about Saquon Barkley as we should be the meniscus tear the ACL tear some shit went down with Saquon I right? it, it was ugly but if there's anybody who can come back and ball on some AP type type of time is Saquon now as far as Daniel Jones goes I know y'all seen the pictures of my boy DJ looking like a wrestler my man DJ look like he ready to go suplex somebody right now a shout out to my boy Daniel Jones for getting buff my man Daniel Jones says if I wake up in the morning and my cheeks feel puffy I do a thousand crunches this man ain't human he on Super Saiyan time that's why I call him Super Saiyan 8 my man Daniel Jones is on Super Saiyan time he wake up out the bed, do a thousand crunches. Can y'all quarterback wake up out the bed and do a thousand crunches? Eagle fans, cockroach fans, cowboy fans, 
can y'all quarterback Fitzpatrick, Dak, uh, Hurts, can y'all get up out the bed and do a thousand crunches? Because my quarterback can. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Danny. It's also Daniel Jones' birthday. Shout out to the birthday boy. He turned 24 today. Shout out to Daniel Jones. You know what I'm saying? Listen, shout out to my uh, Fisk Unit shooter, YTC. He sent me this thing that Daniel Jones wears number eight, but he turned 24. You know the vibes. He wears number eight, but he just turned 24. Y'all know the vibes, man. You know the vibes. But all in all, Joe Judge had to reiterate that Daniel Jones is a quarterback. You still got crazy people in the media asking, will you trade Daniel Jones for Aaron Rodgers? Or is Daniel Jones going to be the starter? Well, you still got people talking crazy. Whatever. Hurt Lorenzo Carter looks pretty good. AZ looks pretty good. But look, it's, it's voluntary OTAs. So I went concerned. Don't be concerned about who's not there. That's really what I wanted to get my point across in this video is don't be concerned about who's not there. Now, we don't have Kadarius Tony sign within a couple weeks. I may have to do a video uh, calling out get him in the judge. Like, what the hell are you doing? All right. Now, I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I may have to, you know, I may have to apply some pressure, put put a video out. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, letting them know that Giants Nation is not pleased that our number one pick ain't signed. But, you know, as of right now, I'm sure Gettleman is working diligently to get Kadarius Tony signed. I think the hold up with Kadarius Tony might be, I, 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 mean, I don't know. I'm not a contract guy. I, I just think that with, if you're Kadarius Tony, you're like, well, damn, I'm the fourth wide receiver taken. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the hold up is on him. You would think he'd have been the first one signed. Like, I don't know what's up. With the process here, he was the 19th. We had the 19th pick, right? I th we had the 19th for the 20th pick. I mean, it's only but so much he could make if you know you just slot him in with the rookie wage scale. I just don't know why it's hard to sign a rookie. This ain't 10 years ago where you got Stafford and Bradford coming into the league making like 70 million dollars and shit. This ain't that. These guys are slotted. They can only make but so much. So I don't see what the holdup is. Again, Tony signed. And, you know, just throwing it out there, we can still trade Evan Ingram and say $6 million. Just throwing it out there. If we having cap issues and we need some bread to give Tony, we can still trade Ingram after June 1st, say $6 million. But I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.